Benson Boone. That is Slow It Down at 93.9 FM WTBX 731 right now. We have a lot of things that are going on in the Northland this week, and especially this weekend. Big holiday coming up this weekend. Yeah, it's the Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive, and that's going to be on Saturday, May 11th. And to talk more about it, I have Tom Potochnik on the phone from the Hibbing Postal Service. Tom, how's it going? Good, Sean. How are you? You sound like you're full of energy this morning. We could use you at the post office to help <laughs> deliver mail some days. I, I don't think that I have the legs for it. I, I, there's no way. I would collapse by the second block. Actually, you're a tall guy, so you know you could probably carry twice as much mail in half of the amount of time. Oh, so I think you'd be really good. <laughs> well, hey, if I need to switch careers, I know where I'm going. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, Tom, talk to me about the Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive. That is this Saturday. That's right. Each and every year, Sean, on the second Saturday in May, we uh, collect food for the needy people all across uh, the United States, and in particular for our uh, union local across the Iron Range. Our Iron Range Merge Branch 1058 covers the cities of Hibbing, Nashwalk, Chisholm, Virginia, Ely, Babbitt, Aurora, and Hoyt Lakes. We have members spread all across the Iron Range since we merged to... Uh, all of the uh, cities into one branch uh, about five, ten years ago. So we cover a lot of uh, ground, which we're very appreciative of, and so are the people who uh, end up benefiting from our food drive on the second Saturday in May. Wow. Now, this is a community effort, and so can you talk to me, like, how do, how do people get involved? That's really a good question, Sean. Uh, people always ask, well, how can I help out? Well, the, the biggest way to help out is put, place non-perishable food items, and if you can, you can put them in a bag or a small box right next to your mailbox, and that's all you have to do because then on Saturday when the letter carriers deliver the mail, the letter carriers and or their volunteers that uh, walk along or drive along with them uh, pick up the food, they bring it back to the respective post offices so the food can get weighed. We, uh, we have to you know turn in a number to uh, our national um, uh, union, uh, so we have a, a number of pounds that we've collected, and we can report that. But you, you, uh, all you have to do is place those non-perishable food items by your mailbox. They get picked up, and they go to the respective local food shelves. All the food stays in the local community where it was donated. I, I always get that question every year from people. Well, I don't want to donate because my food's going to end up in Minneapolis or St. Louis or something. No, the food all stays here. If you live in Hibbing, it goes to the, uh, the the food shelf at the uh, Salvation Army. If you live in Chisholm, it goes to the Chisholm food shelf, so on and so forth. It stays local, and that's, the I think, the biggest thing to uh, tell people is your food is not going out of the area. It's staying right here to feed hungry people in your neighborhood. Yeah, that, that, that's extremely important. And, and what I think is so cool is that this has been going on since what it looks like 1993. This is, like what, that's the 31st right. year? That's right. Uh, a bunch of the leadership from the union got together because letter carriers, Sean, you know, we uh, go into neighborhoods each and every day and we c- kind of get to know our neighbors that we deliver mail to. And uh, we see their plight sometimes. We see that they're uh, hungry or they're going without three square meals a day or, you know, they, uh, for whatever reason, maybe they just lost their job and they don't know. Do I pay the power bill or do I cut money out of the food budget? Uh, they some Some people have a lot of... Uh, interesting things they uh, have to deal with. And so we're trying to help out by uh, making sure that they get some very healthy food stuff. All they have to do is go down to the food shelf if they need it and uh, uh, go from there. But we see the plight of our neighbors and we just wanted to help out. And so they tried it back in the early 90s, I think on a test run, and it was so successful they voted in 1993 to do it nationwide. And uh, since then, Sean, the National Association of Letter Carriers has collected 1.9 billion pounds. That's billion with a B. 1.9 billion pounds of food. And that, uh, that's an astronomical figure. I think that's just uh, a wonderful thing. I'm just still trying to wrap my head around that number. but <laughs> Yeah, I know. I don't even think about it. I just, I, I just am so thankful that we're able to you know, collect some food. The last few years, it's been tough uh, with COVID and everything. And this year, we want to get the word out that, hey, we're going gangbusters this year. We know uh, there's a lot of people out there who are doing pretty well financially. So uh, this week, if you're uh, you know going out of town for Mother's Day, grab something at the grocery store, put it in a bag, put it next to your mailbox. You can drop it off at the post office. 
in Hibbing, Super One will have a little cart set up. I'll, uh, we'll have a poster on it to let you know that's for the food drive. If you want to drop your donations in that as well, and it'll all get collected on Saturday, and we'll turn it over to the food shelves. Yeah, it, it, it's a great thing that you're getting this out now. So when you're going to go shopping and whatnot, think of this. Think of the stamp out hunger food drive that is this Saturday. Pick up a couple of things, and then before you go out fishing on Saturday, just mm -hmm. drop it right off in, in, in a bag or in a box right next to your mailbox. And it's super simple, a great way for the community to get involved. And, Tom, anything else you wanted to add about the Stamp Out Hunger food drive this Saturday? Well, before I leave you, Sean, I want to tug at the heartstrings a little bit. Uh, li looking at some of the latest statistics, more than 44 million people in the U.S. face hunger each and every day, and that includes one in five children. So think of the kids out there, you know, help them out, throw uh, uh, some non-perishable food items, whether it's uh, canned vegetables, boxes, cereal, um, uh, powdered baby food uh, is, is always good. We frown upon anything, bottles or anything like that, because bottles can break. So if you have non-perishable food items, pasta is a good thing uh, to uh, throw into your donation. There's a lot of great uh, non-perishable food items you can donate to make somebody, uh, 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 you know, feel uh, like they don't have to uh, wonder where their next meal is coming from. Yeah, a great way for the, the for the community to support the community. Cause That's I, right. Exactly. We... Support our neighbors. I mean, they're our neighbors. They live right next door to us. And uh, you never know. Someday maybe uh, you or I might have to use the food shelf, too. And, and, or the person donating the food may have to use the food shelf. So it's, it's a very worthy and a great cause. Amen God, thank, to that. Thanks for your help. I appreciate uh, everybody there at Radio Ranch for uh, helping us uh, get the, getting the word out. Anytime, Tom. That is this Saturday, the Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive. Tom, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me about this. Thanks, Sean. Have a great day, buddy. All right, take care. This is WTBX.